Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm in the Museum of South Texas History in Edinburgh, Texas, in the far south area of Texas. I've taken a peek inside, and I think it's got some things that you might find interesting. So come inside with me, and I'll show you around this museum. First is the river crossing, where there is a magic strip of land. Imagine that. So let's see what's in here. There's a micro dam to support the farm life. Oh, and there's also a magic valley. Looks like somebody's left their lights on since 1910. You might say the horseless carriage was magical. 1915, a powder keg exploded and created banditos, apparently. There's some of their bandito weapons. Yep, they look dangerous. Here's a little model of the Lusitania. Very nice detail. I signed up for the draft back in 1969, but I guess they didn't want me. Never called me. By the way, if you ever get to Savannah, Georgia, they have a Prohibition Museum that is pretty neat. Which is probably a unique type of museum. I haven't seen one anywhere else. Here's a model of a German submarine. Hmm. German binoculars and a Mexican naval officer's cap. Is that some combination right next to each other? You ever looked inside of a periscope? Okay. Let's see what's in there. Ah, a ship. Shall we blow it up? <laughs> You know, I always wondered where that expression came from. Which I still don't quite get. Well, they got a pretty nice display here. What's a bicycle doing here? They have other historical artifacts here. They got some homo milk. <laughs> Golden Jersey eggs, an old TV, all sorts of kitchen appliances. Did you know the original microwave oven was called the Radar Range by the Amana Company? My mother liked Maxwell House coffee and she would get these tin cans of saltines which I never liked. <laughs> I like the buttery rich crackers. Oh there's an old accordion and a 45 record player. Tinker Toys and a Plymouth Barracuda model. I never had an 8 track tape but I did have roller skates just like that that you strap your regular shoes onto. We have a couple telephones and one of the original Apple computers. That is the Monitor 3. And I liked when banks gave out these pouches so that everybody knew where your money was. <laughs> Look at this, somebody made an army barricade out of Legos. Look at the soldiers over here shooting through those openings. <laughs> I 
Well, now we go outside to the Will Looney Legacy Park. Let's see what's over here. Do not know what this is supposed to be. You got a nice statue here in front of the traffic signal. <laughs> the Texas Legacy. Looks like he's leaving the little lady home to herself. I don't think you'd want to ride this bull. Oh, they got a windmill here. And it's working. Called the Ellipse Eclipse. So now I'm going to go back in and see what's on the second floor. We've got some barbed wire samples. And here they have an old unrestored buggy. And this is a chuck wagon. Where they cook the meals for the cowboys. I'm in sort of a ranch house. There's a singer sewing machine and a stove. I wonder how long that bacon has been cooking. I bet you've never used Armstrong's Bird Brand Shortening. Well, now let's go into the corral. Well, it's not really a corral. Just various displays. Here's the Rio Grande Hotel. Got an old restored cotton gin. And now we're on a riverboat, apparently. Carrying a load of cotton. Maybe this is the one. Here's three rifles and a pistol from 1850. Here's a cracked church bell from 1836. Here's an old ox cart. Wow, take a look at that wheel. Boy, it's seen some heavy use. <laughs> from the 1800s in Mexico. Here's about a foot and a half high statue of a crucifixion. And what is this stuck in his side? Not sure who that is. Doesn't say. Oh man, I can't imagine wearing this. That is really tight steel. That must be terrible. Here's another one. It's called a chain mail shirt. Okay, folks, guess what this is? You recognize it? <laughs> I sure don't. It is a collar for a war dog. I guess they didn't want anybody grabbing their dog. So this is a large display of a man and his son apparently just coming back. Oh, those looks like two boys actually. And maybe this is the sister. Let's take a close look at her. She's burning something. I guess this is what's for dinner. I guess they had mammoths in Texas too. That one is about 15, 18 feet tall, I think. There's a school from a saber-toothed cat. Must be a relative to the 
saber tooth tiger. We got all kinds of displays here. I don't know what that is. Where's the sign? You can see there's something that flies or swims. Not sure what it is. Well, it's a good sized museum. It's got some nice things. If you're in the Edinburgh area, stop by and take a look. Good day, folks.